Hello everybody, Tom here, and today we're going to do some backyard woodcraft. It's all about feather sticks, and uh, I'm going to show you guys a trick or two. Uh, I've never seen anybody else use this technique, but um, first and foremost, uh, we're going to start off with our knife. And uh, uh, we'd like to stress that using the knife that you're going to use in the woods is really critical to getting good at, um, at making feather sticks. So we're going to go over here to the, to the chopping block and make up a bunch of feather sticks, and uh, I'll show you a trick. Okay, so I've got some uh, pieces of cedar. As you can see, it's long grained. It doesn't have a bunch of knots in it to give you any headaches when you make your feather sticks. I just processed this down uh, with, with my axe just a little bit ago, just to get it um, into a workable piece so you can make your feather stick readily. First off, I'm gonna use my old shrade. I've had this for many years. Try and keep it as sharp as I can. And with feather sticks, just a really light touch. You want them curls. The type of wood that you that you um, pick is going to have a lot to do with what type of uh, curls you get. Even more so than your knife. And just long, steady strokes. And you'll get some pretty good curls. Yeah, I don't get them every time. I try and keep my arm as straight as possible and just use my body weight to, to push down on it. But just getting those those little curls you want it as thin as possible so it'll take a spark and and uh, help you get your fire going. Alright, so, you know that doesn't take very long and, and the better you get at it, you know, the faster you can go. But it's always important to have, uh, you know, your work facing away from you so you aren't uh, going to hurt yourself. You could do this on the ground for that matter. I just have a, a cutting block here. But to practice making feather sticks is just to keep that angle really, really light. Get those things to curl over for you. You know, you get four or five of these sticks going, it uh, you'll have some really nice feather sticks or shavings like I just made. But here goes the trick, just to keep this video short and sweet. I've not seen anybody else do this yet, but uh, that's not to say that nobody has done it. I'm sure that there has. But when I'm in a hurry. To make feather sticks or it's draining or something like that i just want to get them made and uh what i do use my nora excuse me my mora uh, spoon knife this one has been dropped and uh, and chipped so uh, uh this is basically my feather stick making knife As you can see, we make some feathers real fast, real easily. And your wood has a lot to do with that too. So we got one. Let's do another one here. That's a little bit small. I like using this this knife because it uh, you know there's not a whole you know huge blade out there to kind of nick your or, or uh, to hurt you. It's a little bit safer, but if you're safe with your knife and you practice with it, you really don't need to do this anyway. But. All right, 
There's another one. Mosquitoes are pretty bad out here today. Get that out of the way. And just by moving the, the blade around a little bit. You can go back and forth along the face of your, of your stick. There you go. A little bit more. We could get, we could get a lot more out of there if we wanted to work at it. There's three. Let's see if we can do another one here. Remember, it's not about being as fast as you can. It's about getting your curls right. Having fun. I like making feather sticks, especially the cedar. It's so easy to carve. Ooh. All right, there we go. There's another one. Of course, we go back to the other side, but don't really need to. Could be a pretty good fire right there. All right, guys. Well, there you have it. It's a little trick that I uh, picked up along the way, and uh, I don't use this one for making spoons anymore. It's just for my feather sticks and stuff, so uh, I don't need to keep it razor sharp. But I know how to sharpen them, so it, uh, it works. It works great for making feather sticks anyway. All right. Well, thanks for joining me for this uh, feather stick tutorial, and uh, hope you guys get out there and practice making feather sticks. Enjoy your woodcraft. The next one, you guys take care out there. We'll see you on down the trail.